Tanya Trafford, and uh, my husband and I, we own Kinsel Kennels, where we breed um, lovely, sassy, and healthy Finnish Spits. Finnish Spits are obviously a dog from Finland. They are what's considered a rare breed um, in Canada because there's actually only, according to the Canadian Finnish Spits Club, there's only six breeders in Canada. They come from Finland and they are a working dog there. They're for hunting and they have a very unique way of hunting in Finland. The hunter releases them in the field and they go and find the prey, whether it be birds, uh, small game, um, they even are being used to hunt large elk and what they do is they tree the animal or get it cornered somehow and bark at it, mesmerizing them and distracting them and letting the hunter know where they are. So they are a true hunting dog and they are prized for their barking in, in Finland. They're what's called a primitive breed, so they're very, very true to their old ancient breeding stock. They have not changed since very early 1900s. And that's why we got into breeding them, because we like the idea that they're there, that they're very primitive, and they're very, very healthy breeds. So that's why we got into breeding Finnish Spits. Fairly coarse coat, but they have a very, very soft undercoat. They will blow that coat twice a year. Mm. So you have to kind of brush that out. Um, but it's not, there's not, they don't require a lot of care. So they get a lovely tail on them that curls and plumes, and that is a standard, it has to do that. Bathe them as often as you need to, however you see fit, um, and brushing them maybe even once a month if that's all you need to do. But they do need to have their undercoat brushed out if they're blowing it. So the Finnish Spitz is actually a really nice house dog. Um, they are excellent watchdogs, but definitely not guard dogs. They will let you know if somebody's coming, but they will not protect your home. They can be aloof with people, but for the most part they actually like people and they will approach people on a friendly basis if you socialize them properly. If they grow up around kids, they are exceptional with kids. They can be very, very affectionate with children. Finnish Spitz is a true Spitz. Um, they are fiery and spicy and sassy and everything I love about them. They do definitely have an independent streak and they can be very stubborn. I sort of categorize dogs in two fields. One is there are dogs that work with man and there are dogs that work for man. And the Finnish Spitz works for man. So you release it in the field and it goes and does its job independently. And that's why they think a lot different than say like a Labrador. So the Finnish Spitz is still a very healthy breed. They don't have a lot of health issues. Um, that's one of the reasons we got into breeding them and that's what we like to do. We like to keep the line pure. Because they're such an ancient breed, we have to do make sure we do our part. So before Valo, which is our foundation dog, was bred, we did all kinds of testing. So like her knees were tested, her eyes were tested, her heart was tested. We went through all the testing to get that done. Um, we showed her so that she got in the show ring and we did a lot of research to fight to find the right male. So before you even get your litter on the ground, your puppies on the ground, you've spent a lot of money and energy and time and a lot of love in keeping this line and this dog pure and healthy. 